Well, there's hope on the horizon for people suffering from multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, also known as MDR. Doctors Without Borders has just launched the South African arm of a new clinical drug trial for MDR TB treatment in one of the country's biggest townships. CGTN's Rene Del Kam has more. Kaya Litsha is one of the South African communities hardest hit by HIV AIDS, TB and multiple drug resistant TB in the world. But this week there was plenty of celebration here as Doctors Without Borders launched its new end TB clinical drug trial in South Africa. Goodwin Makanda, who was diagnosed with MDR-TB in 2013, says he's grateful that he managed to conquer the devastating disease. And he's determined to spread the message of better treatment and the chance of greater survival to others who are battling MDR-TB. I lost everything in my life. I lost friends, I lost a girlfriend, I lost a job. I lost uh, my left lung. I'm standing there talking to you. I don't have a lung anymore. So the best way is to improve the treatment that we're getting because we're suffering of uh, side effects with the medication of because we're taking injection every day. I can become deaf. You take uh, that uh, medication of uh, the, 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 pe the pills every day that can make your liver fail everything, but you risk your life because you want to be cured. Multiple drug resistant TB is stronger than the common TB germ and it can overpower the medication okay? used to treat common TB. The aim of the new treatment regimens is to remove the painful injections and to make it shorter, less toxic and more effective than current treatments. Kailitsha is very hard hit for the MDR-TB. The statistics here are overwhelming compared to the rest of the country, not just the world, but South Africa has a high MDR-TB burden compared to the rest of the world. And within South Africa, Kailitsha has a disproportionate burden of MDR-TB. And again, compiled with that, is that nearly 45% of our MDR-TB patients also have HIV co-infection. Why this study is needed is because it's looking at shorter courses of more tolerable medicines, medicines which will have less severe side effects for people, but which we think will also be more effective. So more effective, not as bad side effects, better chance of being completed due to being taken for a less period of time and being easier to take. Importantly, that includes not having to have the very painful injections that typically patients have to go through. Doctors Without Borders says there are around 500,000 new cases of multi-drug resistant TB globally every year. Just 50% of these cases are diagnosed. Only 5% survived. And the community here in Kailitsha in Cape Town has the highest number of cases anywhere in the world. Stick to the medication and you know, end of the day, you will be a survivor and you will win TB. TB is not, not killing anyone. It's myself I kill me because I don't want to take the medication. But we need a better medication without toxic. That is a problem. This new MDR TB trial in Kyalitsha hopes to track the progress of 120 patients over the next four years. Renadal Kam, CGTN, Kyalitsha, South Africa.